Hello everyone! Do you know how to create the atmosphere of a good movie? First, you need a talented director, a cameraman and a scriptwriter, and some great actors to do their best. But then what? It turns out that the production of the film doesn't end here, because it has to go through the sound department first. Not only to dub the voices of the protagonist when necessary, but to give sound to the objects. After all, the microphones that record the speech of actors can't record, for example, the sounds of a busy street or the sound of horse hooves. Otherwise, it'd be a terrible disaster. That's why sound recording experts, also known as Foley, artists come to the aid of the film industry and do their magic. These are the tools of these guys, a device to watch the film already shot, a good microphone and their imagination. So in today's video, we'll show you the incredible way sound effects are made in movies. Let's get it on. Star Wars What do you need to reproduce the sound of little BB-8 sliding through the desert? A bunch of cuteness and some sand? Almost. Look, you really need some sand and a disco ball? It's not a joke, because that's how the sound was created, which can be heard in the movie The Force Awakens. The main thing is to rotate the ball at the right speed, which doesn't seem to be a problem for sound experts. While you're imagining a disco droid at an intergalactic party, we'll reveal the secret of the special sound that accompanies every stormtrooper's move. Apart from the pew pew, which never kills anyone. You must remember the specific sound of these characters' space armor, right? Turns out that this girl is responsible for the sound, created with the help of a motorcycle helmet, roller skates, and a leather jacket. You put it all together, shake it up, and the perfect soundtrack is ready for the next part of the space saga. Marco Costanzo Another true professional, Marco has worked on so many famous films, cartoons, and series that we would need a whole video to include them all. If you're interested, you can look on the internet and you'll have many hours of fun. Marco can use leaves to make you believe that an evil witch is doing witchcraft. Or hit the ground with two coconuts to imitate a real horse. A horse with coconuts. Well, sounds pretty weird, but as you can see, it's brilliant. What about when there's a fight on the screen and one character hits another character's head against a metal wall? This happens all the time. For these situations, Marco brings an iron box and a roll of tape. Who would have thought that these materials sound exactly like a human head being beaten? But we don't recommend our viewers to check the similarity of that sound at home. You better use a friend. Oh, no, obviously that was a joke. Lord of the Rings To be honest, we're not sure that these guys were involved in the creation of Peter Jackson's famous trilogy, but they still managed to recreate the sound of one of the scenes from The Fellowship of the Ring. Maybe the director should invite these talented artists for his next film, especially since they're only two people. They did all the effects together and recorded them in one shot. The crunching of the paper, the sound of the footsteps, and the barely audible crunching of the fabric. Even a seemingly simple sound like a tap on the shoulder was also recreated. Is it secret? And all of this with surprising synchronicity. If these guys were expert swimmers, they definitely have some kind of Olympic medal. And although humanity has not yet invented a sport like crunching paper in sync with a serious face, it's nice to watch and enjoy the magic of cinema in action. And we're not talking about Gandalf's pranks. Robin Hood there are a lot of films about Robin Hood, and we certainly won't be able to reveal all of their secrets, so let's take a closer look at the 2010 film adaptation. Russell Crowe, Kate Blanchett, and a manually dubbed weapon of the protagonist. Turns out that if you press the Psy, the Ninja Turtle Raphael's sword against the hilt of a real sword, you can get a sound of a medieval weapon. And if you crumple a leather bag really well, it'll be the perfect sound of the protagonist's clothes. But our most favorite is the sound made by Russell Crowe pulling the sword out of its scabbard, because in order to get this sound, the Foley artist touches the blade with a metal kitchen spatula. Spatula, Carl! Probably all the forks were broken, but it's just amazing, you have to agree. The sound of the horse is also very cool. Including not only the clatter of hooves and the sound of harnesses, 
but also its heavy breathing. And with different intonations. Can you do that? Well, Foley artists can. The Hobbit. Do you know how to record the sound of a panicked crowd, often used in many movies and big productions? If we're talking about a Hollywood blockbuster, then there will necessarily be a crowd of frightened people, moving away from the danger while they scream. In The Hobbit, we found such a scene, and turns out that in order to record the screams of the frightened residents of the town of Vale, who were fleeing from Smaug, the relatives and friends of the people working on the film were invited in. And in our humble opinion, they did a great job. Especially this guy who moves his arms. It's hard to imagine what the locals thought when they heard these heartbreaking screams on a sunny summer day. However, they are probably used to it, because all six films from Tolkien's universe were shot in New Zealand. After this, they will most likely not be surprised at all, not even at a client with pointy ears or a group of orcs getting tanned. Jurassic World Movies about huge dinosaurs trying to eat the protagonist will never be the same for you if you see how the grunting of these creatures is created. Obviously, you can't record them live, unless you have a time machine to quickly get back to the Mesozoic. No wonder filmmakers had to resort to the most unexpected tricks. For example, recording the sound of big machines at factories, and then combining these mechanical sounds with the grunting of lions, ostriches, and even monkeys. In addition, the pigs also found work in the studio, and these animals helped create the roar of the legendary T-Rex. For some reason, it doesn't sound so scary when you know that these are the voices of a couple of modern beasts, transformed with the help of all kinds of music software. By the way, the sound made by the closing jaws of a huge dinosaur is created by quite harmless celery crunch, and potential lunch is broken in half. Man of Steel. What do you think you have to do so that the viewers hear how Superman's stylish red boots step on the ice covered with snow? No, don't get your winter shoes and ice cubes out of the refrigerator. Some of the most common sand, a film and ordinary boots on the feet of a sound expert. And even if this idea seems absurd to you, believe us, while watching the movie, you definitely won't notice any difference. Actually, this sand is a good friend of the famous Kryptonian throughout the whole movie. For example, to create the sound for his epic landing, you just have to pour it on a small empty suitcase and then hit it with a baseball bat with all your strength. Bang! And then again, bam! And a sprinkle a little sand on top. We're very interested in how sound designers came up with such an interesting solution for Superman, and how many suitcases they might have tried. But this is likely to remain their professional secret. But making his flight is much easier. You just need to wave a piece of suitable fabric in front of the microphone. A red one, preferably. Stefan Fraticelli Meet Stefan Fraticelli, one of the best sound experts in the world. He lives in Canada and is a lucky person with a job that everyone envies. He has a keen ear and a great imagination and works as a sound designer, creating a lot of realistic sounds using improvised elements. In more than 15 years, his recording studio, Audio Studio, has worked on several feature films, series, and video games, including Silent Hill, 500 Days of Summer, Silver Linings Playbook, and Prison Break. But listening to Stefan is not as interesting as watching him work. This sound wizard has an account at Instagram, where he regularly posts new videos with a variety of sound effects. For example, Stefan eats a carrot to imitate the sound of a horse, and chews cabbage with as much pleasure as a zombie who's found his dinner. In the recording studio, you can find a lot of different accessories that are used in the most unexpected ways. Comb a wig with a brush? Why not? Run a guitar pick through a bicycle wheel? No problem. We especially like Stefan's face in all these videos. How does he manage to stay so serious? Alan. You can think anything you want about the Alien franchise. You can adore the old ones and hate the new ones. 
but hardly anyone will argue that the sound in each film is simply stunning. And of course, we're not talking about the music, but about everything that growls, creaks, squelches, champs, and breaks. The same goes for alien video games, and in general, for all that's related with these alien monsters and that makes noises. And now, attention, let us tell you a secret. The famous sound of the bloodthirsty aliens, which you could well remember from the game, is garlic in a sock. Honestly, we're not kidding. This is real garlic. Basically, crunchy, grinding noises. And the blood of the xenomorphs, capable of corroding everything in the world, hisses with the sound of Coca-Cola stirred with a hot soldering iron. I mean, it's a fire hazard, but... Don't try to repeat that one at home. However, the steps of the characters are not a big mystery. If everything is in order on the spacecraft and no one has eaten anyone, then you can walk on the shower tray. But if the situation becomes tense, it's time to use your feet to squash some juicy fruits. and try to guess which object is used for the crunching sound of the unfortunate crew members. Well, of course, it's celery. So if you can't find a celery in the nearest supermarket, then probably there's a movie being shot somewhere in the neighborhood. Do you know any surprising secrets about the film industry? Be sure to share your knowledge in the comments, and don't forget to give... Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.